Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I think today is the third Japan vlog and we're in Osaka at the moment. Today we're going to be heading out to Kobe and just exploring around and seeing what's there. We haven't been to Kobe before so I'm excited to see what it's like and yeah without further ado let's go. Good morning guys, today is our last full day of us being in Osaka and we're going to be going on a day trip out to Nara. Nara is the town that's really really famous for having lots of deer roaming around the park so we might be going and feeding some deer so that'll be fun. The last time we went and did that was like a few years ago so um, it was really really fun when we did it the last time. I learned very very quickly that the deers can get a bit um, excited when they see their food, so... <laughs> um, yeah, it should be really good. There's also a really, really big shrine or temple. I don't know if it's a temple or a shrine, but we didn't see it last time, so we're gonna go see that. And yeah, the herb gardens were absolutely stunning yesterday. I couldn't get over how beautiful it was there. It was like really, really, really lovely. And I hope that that really translated to the footage that I took, but it was just stunning and I didn't wanna leave. I was so surprised by how beautiful it all was. Um, there were lots of places to get herbal tea and stuff too, so we didn't actually end up doing that, but um, if you're in Kobe, definitely check out the herb gardens at the top of the mountain. It's so beautiful, it's so lovely. We ended up doing the hike down the mountain, 
and we got to go past the waterfall and it was just absolutely stunning. I loved it so much. So surprised by how much I loved Kobe. Like I would 100% live there. It was so, so lovely. Um, and just a really, really beautiful city and I liked it a lot. But yeah, let's go to Nara. Let's go feed some deer. That will be fun. <laughs> so incredibly tired it's been like a really 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 big holiday and we've not really taken any breaks yesterday running up and down that mountain has just tired out my legs so much and i am just absolutely exhausted but super duper happy today was great we um i forgot to mention earlier that we were going to go to osaka castle first so um, we haven't been there before and we wanted to check it out. We went inside and that was great. Tomorrow is actually a public holiday. It's culture day. So everything's a lot more busy than it would be ordinarily. It's also a Sunday today. So, um, we didn't really factor those two things in when we went to Nara. Um, because, oh my God, Nara was so busy. Like the last time we went, I can't remember what day of the week it was and obviously it wasn't a public holiday the next day but Nara was really really quiet the last time we were there and it was raining but um they're just there are a few tourists but there wasn't heaps of people and today is just so so many people so um I'm really surprised at how quickly things have changed with um how much busier they've gotten with tourism over the last couple years since we've been here been there but yeah it was nice seeing the deer as always and getting to feed them some of the senbei and um they're very very cute and there's lots of signs up that tell you how you're supposed to feed them so you don't get attacked like i low-key was the last time we went um but yeah it's always a little bit worrying when a um tourist attraction features a lot of animals like I don't know, it's just there was a lot of people around a lot of deer and um, it didn't seem like anyone was doing really anything wrong and um, those deer have been living there for a really long time but it's just, it gets a 
I don't know, it gets a bit much. But yeah, supposedly this region in Japan has just exploded with tourism over the last few years because there are now so, so many tourists here and it's so busy and um, that's great for like a lot of different reasons but it just makes the experience a tiny bit different. So yeah, Nara was a lot busier than we expected it to be but it was still great, it was still nice to see the deer. Tomorrow we're going back to Tokyo. Um, we're going to take the Shinkansen at around midday from Osaka to Tokyo and we're going to be staying in the same hotel that we stayed in last time. Um, again, because it was, it was the cheapest hotel we could find, which is what we want. Um, but I'm very excited to be going back to the hotel because A, excited to be going back to Tokyo and B, excited to be going back to the hotel with the cool onsen thingy. So yeah, at this point I am very, very happy but very, very, very tired because we've just... Um, we have so much shorter this holiday than we've like had for a holiday previously in Japan. Um, so we've just shoved so much stuff into so little time and, um, oh, it's just no rest days and I'm, I'm really tired, but that's cool. We've done so much exercise. We've climbed so many mountains. We've done so many steps. How many have we done today? We've done 20,000 steps today. Um, we're probably going to go out and get dinner later, so we'll probably do a bunch more. I'll say goodbye to you guys here because all we're really going to do now is just go get dinner and then probably have a really early night. We need to pack and then get up early to... let's refocus the camera. Yay. Um, um, we're going to get up early tomorrow to go catch the Shinkansen. So I'm going to say goodbye to you guys here. And yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. As I said, still more Japan videos to come. I don't know how many more there's going to be at this point. It depends on how much I film and um, what we're doing in the next few days. But yeah, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying the Japan vlog so far. Um, please let me know what you liked about this video. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>